Today we're going to do a how-to video on my how-to video. So there was a couple points of confusion where people were having trouble installing the app or downloading the IDE or configuring the board manager or setting COM ports or, or messing with the serial speed. So this is a more in-depth video to go through some of that. Some of these things can be hard if you've never done it. So we'll make another video that kind of goes into more detail. Okay, so straight from the description on my video, first you go download the Arduino IDE. So let's do that first. Go to download. I'm using Mac right now, but I've also done this on Windows. I'm simply doing it on Mac now because the screen recorder is better. But if you do it on Windows, Choose this first link. Don't don't do the Windows app. Uh, for this experiment, it won't. It doesn't matter. But if you end up doing more things, there's sometimes some issues with this. So go with that if you're doing Windows. I'm doing Mac, so I'll click on Mac. It's downloading. Or not yet. Just download. It's downloading. I've actually already downloaded it. We'll go right here on our Mac, we'll double click and it will extract it. And on Windows, you'll have to go through the actual install. Okay, after that, we'll run it. Open. Okay, now that it's open, we will, I forgot, let's go check our list here. Okay, Arduino IDE. Okay, here's how we set it up. So you go to the second web page. And you only have to do the section under installing with boards manager. Okay, so we just installed it, so that's good. Start Arduino and open the preferences window. Enter this long URL, just like that, all the way to the JSON in the preferences window. So on a Mac, it's here. In Windows, it's very similar, slightly different. I think it's file preferences. Go to preferences. Down here, under additional boards manager, it will not paste. There we go. Okay, hit OK. Let's go back to our list. Follow along. Okay, enter that into additional boards. We just did that. You can add multiple URLs. We don't care about multiples. Okay, next step. Open Boards Manager from Tools Board Menu and install the ESP8266 platform. So here's how you do that. In Arduino, go to Tools, Board, and at the very top, it'll say Boards Manager. Click on Boards Manager. Now, in this search, type ESP 8266. Once you're here, you click on the description, and 2.40 is the latest version right now. Click install. It's a little confusing because that install button doesn't show up until you click on it. Okay, we see down here it's installing. Okay, now it says installed. Okay, great. So we can hit close. Go back to our list. Okay, enter this and install it. Don't forget to select your ESP to board from Tools Board Manager after installation. Installation. So we'll go back to Tools Board. This time, if you scroll way down, you'll see under this heading we have all the ESP8266 boards. There's a bunch of them. 
the one we have, the one we're going to use, is this one, Node MCU 1.0 ESP 12E module. So click that. And down here at the bottom of your Arduino window, it tells you that's the board you're using. Okay. Now the other important things while we're here is your COM port. Now on Windows it's a little different. Down here, right here in this spot, it'll say COM1, COM2, COM3. On Mac, it calls it whatever this string is. And what that is, is it corresponds, it's not truly a USB port, but we can think of it that way. Um, so basically, let me plug in my board. Okay, my board is plugged in. So if you go up to Tools, and then you go to uh, where is it? Port, you'll have a couple options. Okay. Um, on Windows, you may see COM1, COM2, COM3, COM5. It could be anything. You may just have to try them all. Keep trying one until one works. This is where you select them. In my case, I know I'm not using a Bluetooth device, and I know I'm not using this because those are my Bluetooth headphones. So I only have one, op one option, really, and it's that one. So we'll leave it at that. And also, you can go to Serial Monitor. Now, serial monitor is kind of like your debug window. So when this code is running, it spits things out um, to the screen. Up oh, there you go. See, it's spitting this stuff out. If you see, see a bunch of gibberish like this, that means your baud rate is, is not set. If you look in the actual code, which I haven't even opened yet, you'll see that when we need to set it to 9,600. You may see some gibberish. Oh, that's a different sketch. Ignore that. Okay. So, we finished configuring our board. So let's go back to the YouTube page. So, Petrino. Um, USB driver. We gotta get this USB driver or it won't communicate. Go to this page. Again, if you're doing Windows, pick that, download and install. It's very easy. If you're doing Mac, right here, pick it, install it. Super easy. I'm not gonna go through that part. Uh, next is the code, right? So download my code. It'll show up like this. Click this little download button. It'll download the zip file. So show in folder. It's right here. So let's um, let's extract it all. You want to make sure this. Um, folder is called fireplace otherwise Arduino will uh, will give you some errors later on it simply called it fireplace 2 because I already had the directory existing from doing this earlier so make sure this directory is only called fireplace and nothing else now open up fireplace.ino Okay, now that we have that open, 
make sure you put in your Wi-Fi stuff here. And now hit Upload. Okay. If you have the wrong port chosen down here, it'll give you some nasty errors. Like I'll show you. Let's pick a different one. Port. Instead of the right port, let's try to upload it to my headphones. That's not going to work. But let's try it. Compiling a sketch. I know it says it's uploading. Okay. Look at that error message. This PSP com open failed, blah, blah, blah. I know some people got that. So that just means you have the wrong port. Go to port and then choose this one. Again, on Windows, it's going to be something like COM1, COM2, COM3. Now let's try to upload this again. Okay, uploading. Okay, once it's to 100%, it's done. So now, to see what it's doing, you can go to the serial monitor, which is kind of our debug window. Once you're in here, you may want to push the reset button on your little node MCU chip. It's right by the little USB connection. It says RST, that's reset. Okay, once I pushed it, all that gibberish came out. That means we have the wrong bot. If you look over here in the code, it tells us when you write out to the serial, write out at 9600. So whatever it says there, oops, uh, tool serial monitor there. Whatever it says there, you need to set the same thing over here, 9600. Once you do that, go ahead and hit the reset button again on your Node MCU. And there we go. We can read it. Connecting to Wi-Fi, connecting, find my IP address, blah blah blah. From there on. You should be good to go. You can have your, your Echo discovered to the devices. You can either discover it by um, the Echo itself, or you can actually do it from the Alexa app on your phone. Uh, one warning about the Alexa app on your phone. If you have that open in the smart home and you actually have, if it just, once it discovers your new switch, your fireplace switch, there's a bug in there. I, I don't think it's in, in this code. I think it's in the app somehow, or maybe it is in this code, but I haven't been able to figure it out. Um, but if you have that switch open in the Alexa app, it sends the on command about every three seconds. So you go in there, you turn it off, instantly it comes back on. Once you exit out of the app, well, you don't even have to exit out of the app. Once you are not don't have that switch open inside of the Alexa app, it doesn't do that. So just keep that in mind. Don't, don't leave that app open because it'll keep on turning on your fireplace. From here on out, you should be good to go. Good luck, everyone.